So in the country that I'm living right now, we have power outage five times a day. This is why I got a solar system in 2019 and it is still working just fine. But there is one more problem. Every time we lost the power, the ATS takes three seconds to isolate the house from the grid and connect it to the solar inverter. This delay time is some sort of a protection. You cannot deactivate it. Imagine you are printing a document. The power loss even for a few seconds can ruin everything. The same thing about the router. One second power loss takes a few minutes to reconnect. Two very boring minutes later. So I came with a very simple solution by using high voltage capacitors. A bridge rectifier converts the AC to DC and charge the capacitor through the resistor. Before power outage, the load taking its power from the grid. When the power outage happens, the load start to take the voltage from the capacitor through the diode. You need a resistor here to reduce the inrush current of the capacitor. So I designed and ordered the PCB from PCBWay. The first circuit that I designed has a relay to bypass the resistor after a few seconds, when the inrush current of the capacitor drops. So it has a timer, relay, and a power supply. But then I found a better solution just by using a diode and resistor. By using this formula, you can calculate how long the capacitor can run your load. I have two capacitors. The first one is 759 microfarad, and the second one is 769 microfarad. This LED light bulb is 9 watts, so the current draw is 28 milliamp at 320 volts, which is the peak voltage of this RMS value. The minimum voltage of this light bulb is 70 volt. So according to my calculation, the running time of this light bulb must be 13 seconds. I removed the socket from the outlet to see how long the light keep going. It was very close to my calculation. I did the same test on my laptop because it has no battery inside. It ran in for 3 seconds only. To increase the running time, you just need to add more capacitors. The router and the modem last long almost 12 seconds. And finally, the printer. It ran for 6 seconds on the capacitors. I changed the design of the PCB because the smaller capacitors are cheap and easy to find. Don't connect any motor to this UPS. It can be used only for electronics with a switching power supply inside. If you want to be 100% safe, you better use a DC fuse instead of AC fuse. Don't touch the capacitors even after disconnecting the mains voltage. You have to put the circuit inside a plastic enclosure. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.